so far so beautiful let's become an admin and then try to we'll go to a database to make ourselves an admin all right from our database we're going to look at the users just to set ourselves as an admin um, qr code users so i'm going to put myself as one or let's say two it's the same thing two and then we go to our app and refresh keep your eyes here if everything worked out well the button should show you see mark has paid so mark has paid if we click on it it pops up are you sure you wish to confirm payout we click ok it redirects and bring us back the page expired due to inactivity yeah this is a default laravel ish we shall have to refresh and uh, because we're logged out laravel has exhausted its session logs us out we're logging um, I've not investigated the issue why we are being logged out all the time, but um, it's probably because of my server, the settings of my server. So I click on Mark has paid, click OK. And um, we're now marked as paid. All right. So um, I don't want admin to see apply for payout. You get what I'm saying? I don't want an admin to see this. Um, or should we leave it like that? But the thing is that once somebody is paid, admin shouldn't be able to see this form again, this button. So we go to show blade. Once you pay someone, you as an admin shouldn't be able to, and the person has not been paid. Okay. Do and once this person has been paid. If okay, so um, I think it's paid that we should even look at. So, although paid is not equal to one, so if the person has not, this should only show when the person has not been paid. Once you pay the person, this button shouldn't show. All right, so if we refresh, this button shouldn't show. And um, the reason why this button is showing here is that I am the owner of this account at the same time as an, I'm, a, I'm an admin. So if I'm not the owner of this account, this button wouldn't show because we already took care of that situation here. You see, this one. So the button shouldn't um, show if I'm not the owner. So we we pretty much sorted this out. Look at what happened in the account history. User Dave and um, um, payment completed by what admin one see makes sense so let's just um scan through our code again to see if there's anything okay and a tiny little mistake uh we're making is that we want the user of the account history show to, to always be the owner of the account not necessarily the admin so in this case in mark mark has paid look at what is happening here you know when an admin wants to mark a paid, admin is the currently logged in user so we are, we are putting his email his id here no we should put the id of the owner of the account we'll do account user underscore id cool so it's always the owner of the account no matter who performs action on the account the account history should always reflect to the owner of the account the reason why is that this is okay so that the user can always um, see all the accounts that all the things that relates to them all right so an admin can always get to a user and see all the things that relate to the user so if we refresh nothing happens it's cool so with this id we can always know the admin that approved the payment and all all right see he's saying paid one we don't need this field we're going to remove it we will simply go to um our resources account we're going to show really show blade and we're looking for paid we're looking for paid so reload um what happened this didn't disappear last oh last it paid we're looking for paid i think we should just have this last date applied last date paid i think we, we can fill this too and the one way to do that is to go to accounts controller and under the accounts we do um 
for the mark has paid we should check the last date paid and then insert php date to it i think this is the way to insert php date sorry um we're gonna do the same thing for last date applied last date applied we're doing it in the wrong place i'll fix it applied equal to date i think it's date time that we need not really date um it should be here we need the exact time not just the date what am i doing i'm dropping here cool um everything so an account last date applied once you apply look at it here once you apply for payout we need to track the date you applied once you are paid we need to track the date you are paid but i think we should put date time instead of just date. all right that works for the both of them um dates in php works uh, for date time so once you apply we put the current date of the day you applied and the same thing with uh when we want to do the the admin approves the payment we put the current last date paid so we have left last date applied last date paid cool so um, i think basically this sorts the problem out basically fixes the problem so thank you very much i hope this whole accounting system kind of makes sense uh, to you uh, which means if admin comes to accounts and seeing people's accounts we should be able to see a column that says um application status you understand to know whether the person has applied um or not so let's go to accounts let's go to accounts um table and at the, at the top here we're gonna create let's call it status application status basically so here we're gonna create this and the application status should be applied um let me remember what the field is the field is um applied for payout cool so on the table uh, that's accounts table we're calling it applied for payout so but we're going to use we don't need it it's not a number format we're going to use an if statement to check for this so i'll copy this out since it can either be one or zero so i'll copy this out and say and say at if this is um one then say our uh, application pending I'll say pending uh payment pending else Uh, what do we put as else then we'll do end if so we can leave else empty but I'm thinking we should put something in else uh, paid so if we refresh we should see here she status so this guy has not done anything okay it's empty because we didn't put anything but if we put paid here but we can put paid it doesn't make a uh, difference payment pending okay so another thing we can do is else if else if um the person has been paid paid equal to one we can say paid beautiful so that if you've not been paid we can know so this guy has been paid by admin remember we just applied and this guy got paid all right other things you could do is just to put an icon here that looks green like we did in uh, i think in the users or so uh, beautiful icon but this makes sense uh, so far so thank you very much see you in the next video